Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam and today's video is going to be my May wrap up. So if you have watched my June Jenga TBR, you know why I was MIA for the month of May and what really happened with my health and stuff. If you have it, if you haven't watched that video, well, uh, you can I'm gonna leave it in here in the eye but um basically my appendix just decided to try to kill me <laughs> and so I got a emergency surgery I had to remove my appendix and yeah basically it's what happened I was in the biggest like reading slump during the month of May it was not a great month for me reading wise and health wise so i haven't read a lot of books i actually completed only three books but yeah so it's gonna be a pretty short wrap up and it's fine it's okay but yeah um i just posted my april wrap up which i read like 11 books in the month of april just crazy so you can check that one out um but yeah i just uh, i'm gonna talk about three books here and in the month of may i was participating in the asian readathon and obviously i didn't complete it because yeah i only read three books but um i'm pretty happy that i read only books by asian authors so the first book that i completed in may is the kite runner by khaled osini and this was a five out of five star. This was amazing. This was, I don't know how to describe my experience that I had with this book. It was incredibly hard to read during some parts. It was heartbreaking. I, but I was so hopeful at other points. I wanted to have a happy ending, but um, you know, it, it kind of is a happy ending, but not, um, I love that book. The writing style was really great. I really, really enjoyed the audiobook. The audiobook was narrated by the author, um, which, you know, is the best person to know about this story. And I, I really, really enjoyed it. It was a great audiobook. I really enjoyed also, like, reading it. Um, I, I kind of did a mixed media kind of thing. So I was reading it through audiobook and also physically. I really, really love that book. I really want to read um, A Thousand Splendid Sons by the same author, you know. Um, I heard it's a really good book too. So, um, yeah, I loved it. Next, I completed Severance by Eling Ma. And this, I gave a four out of five star. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a post-apocalyptic, post-pandemic kind of book, but set in an office. And also not like we're following different timelines before the virus during the virus and like after the virus if you want um reminds me kind of station 11 because of you know the, the subject matter and also because it's really character driven this one was also character driven it's there's not like a big plot it's it's not like action pack or anything so i really enjoyed it i just felt like the ending was too open for my taste and for what i wanted for these characters and also the characters were not as compelling and as interesting as i would have liked um but the writing was really good i i, I love a post pandemic or pandemic book I know I'm weird, but yeah, I love those kind of books. And so I really enjoyed it. I don't know if this author has written another book. Let me check. Yeah, so she has a book that is coming out like this year, which is called Bliss Montage. And it's, I think, a short story collection. Yeah, it's coming out in September. So I'm probably going to pick it up because I quite enjoyed um, her writing. And yeah. It was, it was a good book. It was a good post-pandemic book. And finally, the last book that I completed for the month of May is Confessions by Kanai Minato. And uh, this was a five out of five star. This was amazing. This, this was 
This is mind blowing. Um, I did a mixed media for that one too. So I was reading it like physically and also listening to the audiobook. The audiobook is really, really good. Um, it's available on Audible. And um, there's like for each characters, there's a different narrator. And so we're following like six perspective in this one. Each chapter follow a different character you know, with the same, like, event. <laughs> um, I don't want to say too much about this, but th this was amazing. Basically, we're following, at the beginning, a teacher who's talking to her class, and her daughter had just been murdered, and she's talking to the class and saying, like, there's two people in this room who killed my daughter. They're the murderers. And th th that's it. That's all I want to say. This was amazing. I don't know what to say. It was so weird. And it was so unsettling. And I was so shocked by all of the, like, the reveals. Like, I couldn't expect any of them. I couldn't, like, predict any of the reveals and the twist. I, I just, I just couldn't. They were, they were so fun. I... I loved it. I really want to read more by this author. Um, I really want to watch the movie too, but it's like not available anywhere in Canada and I, it's driving me crazy. But um, I, I really, really love that book. I want to reread it. Like it was, this was such a good book. I'm so happy I read it. And that is because of the literally the book club that is also by books and all that. You know, I, I yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't pick that book up if it wasn't for the book club, you know? And I'm really glad I did because this was amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know in the comments which book was your favorite for the month of May, as I would like to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!